Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading Aqualicious by Victoria Kahn. Aqualicious. I was collecting seashells. I found a shell and held it next to my ear so I could listen to the ocean. Instead of hearing the ocean, I heard a little voice inside the shell. Put me down, I'm trying to nap, said the voice. Eek, I screamed. I was scared, but I was also curious. I looked inside the shell. I saw a, a little face with long hair. Can you help me? said the little voice. Help you? What are you? I asked. I'm Aqua she said shyly, wiggling out of the shell. Hi, my name is Pinkalicious, I said. Oh, I love the color pink, but my but blue is my favorite color, Aqua said. I mean, I'm a merminie. What is a merminie? I asked. Merminies are smaller, rarer species of mermaids, said Aqua. Just like there are lots of different kinds of fish, there are many different kinds of mermaids. Merminies only inhabit this sea coast and this sea coast. I am actually quite well known and I, wowee, I screamed excitedly before she could finish. I didn't think mermaids or merminies actually existed. I put Aqua in my bucket so I could show her to my brother Peter. Peter, look what I found. A mer mini mermaid, I said. Peter was bearing mommy and daddy in the sand while they napped. So I dumped the contents of the bucket on onto the towel. Say something, Aqua, I commanded. I was actually speaking to you when you put me in your pail of periwinkles, hermit crabs, and seashells, which I do not appreciate. Hermit crabs bite. I'd like to go home now, please. Yes, you do need a home, Peter said. Come on, Pinkalicious, let's build a palace for her. I bet she's a princess. Peter and I immediately got to work. We built a big sand castle with turrets and decorated it with seashells, stones, and feathers. Do you like it, Aqua? I asked. Yes, I do like it. It is lovely, but it isn't my home. I live underwater and I should get back there, she said. Of course, but wouldn't you like to have lunch with us first? Asked Peter. Hmm, what are you eating? Normally, I only eat algae and phytoplankton. Human food would be a real treat, she said. I put Aqua in my water cup and carried her to the concession stand to let her pick out her lunch. I would like one of everything. And don't forget the sea salt. Would you like to play miniature golf with us? I asked Aqua after lunch. All you have to do is hit the little ball into the hole, Peter said. I'll help you, 
But then I should really be going, Aqua said as she hid in the hole on the pudding green, on the pudding green. Just hit the ball and I will grab it and then you'll win. That's cheating. I don't want to play if you can't play fairly, I said stomping back to the beach. Sorry, Pinkalicious. Sorry, Pinkalicious, said Aqua. Perhaps I can teach you to surf? Just balance on this, on this board and, wide through, and ride through the waves like this. Whee! This is fantastic, I said. Uh-oh, Pinkalicious, that looks dangerous. I'm going to wake up Mommy and Daddy if you are going to stay in the water, said Peter from the shore. Suddenly, a seagull grabbed Aqua and flew away. Help! Help me! Please, don't let it eat me! Aqua screamed as she dangled from its beak. The gull is by the lighthouse. We can still save Aqua, I said, running as fast as I could. Hurry before she comes more many mincemeat, said Peter. Don't worry, Aqua. Peter threw a mussel to the seagull who dropped Aqua into the soft seagrass. Peter picked her up from the ground. We quickly climbed into a sailboat before the seagull came back for her. You'll be safe here. We'll protect you, said Peter. Thank you for saving me. I really appreciate it. But now it's time for me to go home. You, hum you humans lead such exhausting lives, sighed Aqua. Okay, Aqua, you can go home, Peter said as he carefully put Aqua into the water. So long, Aqua. It was nice to meet you, I said, waving goodbye. What are you doing? screamed Aqua. No! Help me! There are sharks and eels and horrible craps in there. This is not my home. Get me out of here! Peter scooped up Aqua out of the water and brought her back to our town. If you don't live in the sea, where do you live? I asked. Over there, said Daddy, who was now awake and pointing to a building on the other side of the sand dune. Aqua is famous. We came to this beach so we could visit the aquarium where Aqua lives. She is a real merminny. We were going to tell you all about her, but I guess we fell asleep said daddy sometimes i like to sneak out to go to the beach and see what i can discover it's good to be curious you never know what fun you'll have and you humans are lots of fun now i need to get back to my tank before anyone notices that i am gone will you take me asked aqua Inside the aquarium, Aqua swam in her tank. There, were, there was a crowd of people who clapped and cheered for her. She was famous. As she swam on her seahorse, she waved to us. I whispered, thank you, Aqua. 
You are beautiful. Afterwards, we got blueberry and sea swirl ice cream. Today was truly aqualicious, I said. Who knew that collecting seashells could be so much fun? Thank you for listening to Aqualicious. See you next time. Bye!